Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it guys. Today's beer comes from Fiddens Brewing Company. And guys, uh, they, these guys are out of New York. Uh, this is not available here. So, uh, I had one of my subscribers contact me, uh, Matt, and uh, wanted to uh, send me a couple of tasty beers he said so I said absolutely so he, he shipped me a couple beers and this is the first one we're going to do out of that beer mouth package and this is like I said from Fittings Brewing out of New York this is Eugene's Axe and this is an eight and a half percent alcohol uh, by volume beer and it says Citra and Galaxy here on it uh, and it's got a nice little brewing little homebrew brewing station there very very nice I recognize that I, I had aspirations at one time of buying that exact setup right there guys to brew beer with but I never did maybe if I had if I'd have been brewing beer professionally now but it just it just never comes to tuition I don't think I could afford it at the time so uh, and underneath the bottom of it it says it's got some writing on it it says 021524 February 15th 24 then it's got a time stamp and actually even underneath the bottom it says 8.5 percent ABV that's the first time I've ever seen the ABV on the bottom of a can of, uh, from the stamp machine awesome that's incredible and it's also got it on the side but that side is a label just in case it, the label got damaged or, or got peeled off somehow it's stamped on the bottom too. That's impressive to me, guys. Finisbury Walker Way, Albany, Albany, New York. New York. Then the government warning. Got the big axe, barbed wire all over it. Yes, very nice. Uh, that would probably be something I would pick up, guys, if it was available here. ABV, yes. Uh, artwork, yes. Uh, date, yes. So. Let's see where this one ends up, guys. Let's jump over to Untap, see what we got going on there. No IBUs, dangerously smooth, double IPA for 8.5% brewed with Citra and Galaxy, written on the side of the can. Nice pineapple orange flavor. So, very cloudy, very hazy, very New England esque looking in the beers. Coming out of uh, New York, I would think it would be. So, let's find out. Matt, thanks a bunch for sending me the beers. Is this a world-class beer? Could it be? Should it be? Will it be? That looks awesome. That looks like juice coming out of the can right there. That is... That looks like a tropical fruit juice extravaganza. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That looks absolutely fantastic, guys. I mean, that looks like one of the world-class treehouse, trillium. Oh, man. That looks fantastic, guys. That is super, super duper cloudy. That looks like a milkshake IPA right there, guys. That absolutely does. And it doesn't say anything about any lactose, but I would... If I was guessing, I'd say yes, but I could be wrong there. Boy, that looks... The appearance on that is absolutely a 10, if not an 11. Mm hmm That absolutely is outstanding as far as appearance. I've got beers, 10s in this style that didn't look that good in the glass. To the nose we go. Ooh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
super creamy. There's not very much left now. About a half a finger of head on that. The aroma is off the chain. Citrusy, oranges, grapefruit, mango, pineapple, peaches. Wow. Over the top. And then the galaxy, I mean, maybe some spicy notes in there or something. I'm not getting any grapes or anything, uh, but I usually get some spicy notes off of the Southern Hemisphere hops. That smells fantastic, guys. The aroma is 10. So we got two 10s. One for the appearance, one on the aroma. What about the taste? Mm, 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 mm. Matt, did you send me a 10 beer, brother? Let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Matt. That is so smooth for eight and a half. That's well made. That is a well made beer right there. I would buy this beer all day long if I could get it here. Matt, impressive beer. Hope this is one of your favorites and you can get it fairly regularly. Because it's got a lot of ratings on uh, on uh, Untapped and it's even listed on Beer Advocate too. So I think they've been doing it for a while. That's an impressive beer. That is really, really impressive. Fittings Brewing. New York. And again, Albany, New York. So, everybody in the vicinity of Albany, New York, I don't know what the distribution is for this brewery. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to... How many beers... How many beers these guys got going on? Active 246, new 78, retired 2. So they have a total of 248 beers under their belt. That's fairly big. I mean, that's, I wouldn't say it's an old beer. Last active 2022, I don't see anything. 2020. I don't see any 2019s. Twenty twenty is the earliest beer I see them releasing. So fairly young brewery, less than five years old, so pretty damn impressive beer there. Swirly swirl, swirly swirl. Now I mean if we'd had a beer like this yesterday, I wouldn't have seen all them chunks floating around in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right. Uh, here we go. Swirly swirl. Into the glass. Ooh, look at that. It's coming up to the top. Gonna walk us out the door. That's right. Excuse me while I whip this out. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Look at the lacing on this glass. I mean, from top all the way down. I mean, Super impressive beer, guys. I mean, that is world class. I mean, super tasty. I mean, everything that you're looking for. With two different hops, Citra and Galaxy. Outstanding. 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 I enjoy this, guys. It's got so much taste to this beer with the tropical fruit notes and oranges and mango and, and grapefruit uh, super well done and it's as thick as any orange juice I've ever had in a glass so. wow it's so smooth I'm impressed final choke Everything this guy is looking for in a double IPA. Alcohol is hidden as it can be. Uh, yes, most definitely world class. Awesome, guys. Uh, there's no reason why this doesn't go up into the 10 category for me. 
and that's where I'm going to put it. 100 over to Beer Advocate. They have it at 96 world class. It is world class, so it gets the 100 for me. ABB's on it, dates on it. Yes. ABB's on it twice, even on the bottom it's on it. So, yes, well done. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.4. 444. That's a solid A, upper A numbers. Not the best numbers, but solid A. I'm going the extra mile there, if you will. I really like this beer. So, uh, not the smoothest, easiest drinking, lactose, super sweet beer that I've I had uh, or, or, or reviewed, but close enough for me uh, to give it. And I was contemplating between a 98 and a 99 and I was just splitting hair there and I'm going, why? Wow. It's got what I'm looking for. ABB and the date and then what I was looking at the appearance and the aroma and the taste. Yeah. Even though I'm going a little bit above the grade on this, I think it's worthy. And probably Matt does too, since he sent it to me. So I've got another one uh, that he sent me in there, and we're, we're going to get to that one maybe even tomorrow. So we've got our information, we've got the grades, guys. If you've had Eugene's Axe from Finn's Brewing Company, let me know what you think. Is this a world class brewery? Hmm. I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the free.